Hello friends, this video on polymers part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the next is the step growth or the condensation polymerization. So it involves repetitive condensation. Action. Repeat. Between two functional monomers. And the sequence of the reaction in which these polymers are formed is combination of two molecules in several diagonal steps. It has several diagonal steps. And that is why it is called step growth polymerization. For example, if I am saying that A1 plus A2 and I n of A1 plus A2 is forming this kind of Compound, actually, if you see the steps, there is the final product, final reaction. I show you. So, A1 plus A2 will react to form A1. A2. Okay. And this again, now in this A1 will react with this product which we have formed to form A1 and A2. And this, whatever is formed here, again react with A2. Form A1, A2, A1. Step will continue again. Same thing. I will react again A1 to form A1, A2, A1, A2. And this will again react the more A2 to form A1, A2, A1, A2. The chain will continue. So you see, there are so many steps, right? And every step you are forming one. And the product of each step is a bifunctional species and that's why it is uh, reacting. It please know product of each step is bifunctional entity or a bifunctional species and each step is unique. For example in this case A1 plus A2 react to form A1A2. Here A1 reacted with A1A2 to form this. In this step this A1A2 a1 reacted with A2 from this. In this step, A1, A2, A1, A2 reacted with A1. In this case, A1, A2, A1, A2, A1 reacted with A2. So every reaction is a unique reaction, right? Every reaction is a unique reaction. In this case, the loss of uh, or the byproduct may or may not happen. The, the loss of simple molecules may or may not happen. Correct. Now, as I showed you, each step is a distinct step. Each step, step produces distinct functional species and they are all independent from each other because these steps are independent from each other. This is called step growth polymerization. And each step is independent, each step is unique. And a good example is the formulation of uh, nylon 66, bacalite, polyester, perylene. Glaptel, all these follows step group polymerization. All these. Okay. And as I told, the water molecule or any extra molecule may form, may not form. Let me see, for example, where one uh, water molecule is uh, emitted as a byproduct, for example, where there is no water molecule. Okay. So let's see this. Let's see the reaction of uh, uh, form terylene. So terylene is formed from ethylene glycol. So ethylene glycol, CH2, CH2, then OH, here OH, this is ethylene glycol, and terytethalic acid. Terytethalic acid, this is COH here. COH here. So N of these, N of these combined, let me write them in here. This is ethylene glycol and this is terephthalic acid. Both of these combined form terylene.
Okay. In this case, there is no byproduct. Let's take the formation of nylon. So nylon, as I've explained this uh, reaction also, this is from hexamethylene, hexamethylene diamine, it is two molecules. Adipic acid, CH24 and COH on both sides. Hexamethylene methylene diamine and this is adipic acid. High pressure, almost 560 Kelvin temperature, you get nylon 66, let me write here. So this hydrogen molecule will react with this OH, this hydrogen with this OH and two water molecules will come out. You get NH, CH26, and then NH, and then CO, CH24, CO. This is what you get. And two water molecules obviously comes out. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.